Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obra Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're making a return to Rail Route, which is a massive sort of train automation style game, if you've not heard of it before. Uh, it's excellent. It's really, really good. Thank you very much to the developers for sponsoring this video and the one previously. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at some of the sort of very latest game sort of developments. Uh, this is Prague. It's kind of crazy. Uh, there is so much stuff happening on this map, and uh, as ever, I'll do my very best to explain uh, what the heck is happening, um, and hopefully we're going to be able to have a little bit of fun along the way. So, yeah, I mean, this map is is very, very fully developed. I don't know why I've clicked on this uh, arrival signal over here. I guess I can link it up to uh, to where it needs to be. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of trains. There's a lot of stations. There's a lot of everything. In fact, if I go into the purchase uh, menu over here, um, I do indeed believe that every single station uh, is bought. So this is like the maximum of the maximum. There is every single platform every single station, it is fully, fully, fully developed, which is very, very cool indeed. So this is like the very sort of late game that you'd expect to come across in this game. Um, and things are, for the most part, running smoothly. Now, there's a couple of issues with a few sort of departure signals. We will uh, address these over the course of time. Uh, for example, there's like a routing sensor that's not going to uh, Lieben, Lieben, whatever. Uh, we can we can fix that like right now. There we go. So yeah, there's a couple of things that we're going to need to fix. We're going to try our very best to increase the pace and the speed of the network. We're actually going to take on board some more contracts. And uh, yeah, as ever, we're going to just have a little bit of fun. We're going to play the game. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do my very best to explain uh, some of the mechanics and some of the way that uh, or some of the ways that some of the, the bits and bobs work. We've got a we've got a whole bunch of these coach yards over here. These are kind of cool. They're literally I mean, they allow you to um, they allow you to have trains that just just chill, chains that just trill in the uh, chill in the coach yard. So it's a it's a really great way to increase capacity, like from inside the map, rather than just having trains uh, entering and exiting from outside the map. Anyway, uh, let's go in and have a little look at some contracts, shall we? A commuter train between. Uh, so this is where this is this is it. This is where we're going to be seeing uh, the coach yards. The coach yards going between. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Mal Malsis and Be Bechevice. Uh, we got a whole bunch of these options. We've also got a commuter train that enters uh, that enters at the edge of the map over here. Yep, goes over to Wilson Station. Let's sort of let's cue this up and see how this see how this goes in the first instance. Now, again, I'm gonna have to sort of like try and map and route exactly where the train uh, where we want the train to go. I think we probably want the train to start on platform number one. Let's start it on platform number one and then let's sort of uh, direct it from there. Now, Wilson Station. Is that configured in the routing sensor? Is that going to automatically depart? I do indeed believe that it should. Um, let's see how long we have to wait here for the train to depart. Uh, just a minute. That's perfect. Excellent. I'm sure there will be other things that break over the course of the network, but that's why that's why they've employed a sturdy train directing steward like me to hopefully uh, help move things along. Although everything is looking pretty fine at the moment here. Nothing is nothing is late. Everything is at the moment on time, which is marvelous to see. Anyway, let's go. Let's go back and have a little look at our train over here. And we'll go into five times speed uh, because it's got to go through a heck of a lot of auto blocks here in order to get to the other side, and the auto blocks take quite a while to complete. Anyway, so yeah, this is the first contract train, uh, which means that we are. Oh, I heard I heard something going on. What have we got going on over here? Uh, we have got a train that cannot get out because it is directed to Leiben, uh, and yet that is not configured to go through the Zizkov station. Uh, so what we really need to see is that we really need to see it getting into the Zizkov station because yeah, it's routed through the routing sensor right over here. I mean, what have we what have we got here? We've got an arrival station. Um, that's fine. I mean, we can manually sort of put that through, put that through in that instance, and that will allow the train to, to, to go. Uh, but what I will also probably do is I will go and build a routing sensor. Yeah. If I change this to a, if I change this to a routing sensor, is that going to make, is that going to make a huge dealio? It doesn't even need to be changed. That's fine. Let's get, let's get this in here. Root from here and we'll say, uh, we'll literally just root everything through, everything through here. Um, 
yeah, I guess others others to Ziskov. That's perfect, actually. So we don't even need to sort of specify specific areas. Anything, anything that is here, we will just route to to platform to platform one as soon as we possibly can. So this uh, this station or this train is going to be in the station for five minutes, and then it's already been given the go ahead thanks to this departure sensor right over here. We can see that it's been queued up to let us uh, to let us progress to platform three. Now, uh, that's good timing actually because my trial train is just coming across to Wilson Station. And as we speak, Wilson Station is over here. So I imagine it's probably just going to take this line sort of straight through the center of the map, which I am perfectly content with. I don't think that there is the opportunity to bypass Lieben. Um, I think we have to. Uh, I think we have to go straight through. Again, like there is definitely the sort of latitude that we have to to make amendments to to tracks. Like we can still add tracks. I mean, we've got eight million in the bank. I mean, you know, adding tracks is not necessarily, uh, not necessarily the problem. Uh, the problem is is physical space really more so than anything else, um, and that is very very limited. Look at this. We can see that our trains are working exactly as intended. That's good. Uh, this is a little bit less than ideal. What do we got going on here? There's a little uh, a little queue to get into Lieben. Is that the case? Platform number five in Lieben is a bit in demand. In fact, there's quite a lot of Lieben stations that are in demand. Probably not helped by the fact that um, one of the one of the the uh, the trains from Wilson Station, yeah, or one of the trains going to Wilson Station. Um, is not able to get past. Now, again, I don't think that there is space to make a tunnel. I mean, if there was a space to make a tunnel sort of here, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, we can't go under the, we can't go under the platform, which is a bit of a shame, because otherwise I would like to, and I don't believe, oh, we can go up here, but that's, yeah, we're not going to be able to sort of cut under this. I think it's a, I think it's made to represent like a rock formation somewhere, uh, somewhere that cannot be, somewhere that cannot be bypassed with track. Either way, what we could do, if we wanted to specifically speed up this, this train's journey, I mean, this train and a whole bunch of other trains that are going from, from Betcheweiss to, uh, to Wilson Station, uh, we could bypass Lieben in its entirety. Uh, we also could sort of set a, a bespoke station, I guess that's probably station two, a bespoke station, which is going to deal with the transit but ah, you know what for the most point it's fine the Ziskov coachyard is is operating completely as it should I'm a little bit worried about the capacity at Lieben though that is that is somewhat of a that is somewhat of a problem you're looking fine you're looking fine that's all looking good there uh this train is still waiting for a bit of time before transiting uh I mean Actually, I tell you what, like this is maybe one of those this is maybe one of those cases where we could look at bulldozing a little bit of track, seeing if we can maybe just maybe squeeze in a tunnel here. Now, I'm not a mathematician, but I think that might work. Uh we may need to wait until uh, we may need to wait until the train is oops, we may need to wait until the train is gone. Uh, it's going to be really, really tight. Anyway, we kind of want to bypass this uh, route. If we're able to bypass that specific route, then uh, we're going to be able to we're going to be able to just direct trains like all the way around 100% of the time rather than waiting. But again, it's just if we have the space, and you know, when you're in the late game, when you're in the late game here, it's like space is space is at a premium, and I am not truly convinced that we are going to have the space required. Yeah, I mean. I don't, I, I don't, I don't think so. Unless we would like to, unless we would like to hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, is that occupied at the moment? I eh, should be able to get rid of the middle one. Okay, cut that out. Pause a second. Let's, let's do a little, let's do a little bit of redecoration. Uh, let's check where this is configured. Uh, Holosovis, uh, Holsovis and Wilson Station, and that's an arrival sensor for... Uh, for Lieben. Lieben slash Lieben? I don't know. Anyway, let's do, let's do bulldozing of this bit of track. Uh, this bit of track two. Leave that there for now. Now, can I... What I'm currently hoping to do... Uh, I, again, I don't think we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna have the space. We really do not have the space to make this happen. This is a, this is a tough little predicament to be in. Right, well, let's let's reconnect it. Let's reconnect it back up. All right, I manually cleared that, but apparently that's uh, that's done the job. Look, it doesn't particularly matter. What matters is that we are able to ideally find a little bit of space to put in a little bit um, 
a little bit more efficient infrastructure. Anyway, let's return to our contract train. How's this looking? Wilson Station. Uh, do we care which platform it arrives at? I mean, not particularly, I don't think. I think we're fine just to sort of let it arrive at any um, platform. Um, the video game is going to route it to platform numero seven. That's fine. And then when is it going to leave? Leave in about a minute or two. And then let's see how it gets back to, or plans to get back to, to, to Betjevice. It's going to come around here, round under the tunnel. Excellent. Along this way, along this way, along here, along through the messy junction. And then it's going to come back. I mean, do I care which platform it goes into? Not particularly, but probably... Probably is it, is it autom is it automatically going to come down into that one? Yeah, I think it's going to come down to it's going to come down into this one. Yeah, five eight five eight three zero. Okay, so that's good. So that is going to that is literally just going to operate as it should, which is lovely. How are we doing at uh, at Leiden? You're you're still looking good. There's no real delays on anything. I think this is all fine. There is a little bit of an alert right over here. Um. Okay, that's fine. Um, I, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's not let's not touch it. Everything is looking fine. Everything is sort of running. There's nothing that is sort of waiting at a station. Uh, let's have a little look at you. You're still waiting to be pumped into here. You are on time for the most part. You're on time for the most part. However, I think I need to. There we go. Manually queue that up. See if that makes a difference. Did I reconfigure this? This is as it should be. This is as it should be. That's great. We are waiting for you to get into live. And what platform are you waiting for? You're waiting for three. That's the problem, right? So we got the delay there, waiting for platform three before uh, before you're able to get in. I mean, it's okay. We can wait for platform three to be available. That's um, that's no biggie. Uh, right. Should we check out the system upgrades? See if we can actually upgrade anything. I would like to upgrade some stuff. What do we got? Train alerts, new UI elements, visual alert, and sound notifications for train. Sure. Heck yeah, why the heck not? I will turn on all of the all of the visual UI elements that I possibly can. Uh, very, very cool indeed. Uh, what else here? Color-coded station signs and trains. Yes, absolutely I would like that. That is very, very important. Uh, manual signal route previews on hover. Yeah, that is fantastic. I will take that too. Brilliant. Give me all of those, please. Yes, that is great. Uh, there's a couple of other things as well. What do we got? We've got most of the stuff in this tech tree. In the control tech tree, uh, increase switch speed limit 120 kilometers an hour on the diverging branch. Sure, I'll take that. Why the heck not? Prevent allocation of an invalid path. Uh, sure, I guess we'll take that too. Excellent. Automation uh, button in the arrival sensor configuration panel to switch to advanced mode. I guess why not? I mean, we might as well, right? Drop down in the routing sensor configuration panel to select overrides for different train types. Uh, I'm probably not going to use it, but yeah, sure, we'll take that. And then there's a few other contract options here, uh, which I guess we can take. That's fine. Okay, that's going to allow us to sort contracts a little bit, a little bit better. Uh, what's going on here? We got a, we got a lot of, we got a lot of alerts. There's a lot of alerts that have appeared on the screen, uh, literally overnight. Um, well, I say overnight, like instantaneously. The good news is though, this Lieben train that we were tracking is looking good. You're stopped at the signal. You're stopped at the signal. Uh, yeah. So the stopped train alerts. If I turn that off, there we go. Suddenly that looks, that looks a lot more calm and collected. I am going to take that though, just in case, because it's probably a healthy indicator of exactly, uh, where we're going to see some problems arising. Uh, this Zikov to Lieben train you are not ready to you're not ready to run why are you not ready to run are you configured to others are configured to over to over here yeah so that should be that should be fine um finish trains to the coach yard that's okay is it just the fact that there's a massive delay here it does indeed look like that's the case you're going to leave in five you're going to leave in five and yet you're not able to get to leave in five um let's Let's have a little look-see. Yeah, you should root down here. Yeah, you should root down there. I don't know why that stopped. Maybe it was because I was playing around with the... Maybe it was because I was playing around with the this this area over here. Uh, we should probably set that as a perpetual as well, as long as it's available. What the heck? There's an alert up here. What's the alert? There is a bad... There's a bad thing happening. You are on your way to station number four. Station number four is available. Doesn't seem like any reason for uh, alerting as far as I'm aware. 
Are you going into the coach yard at the end? You are, and is this platform configured? Yep, it's configured to go to the coach yard, so that shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, you've got an alert, but that's fine. Look, an alert is just a, it's just a healthy little reminder, eh? It's a healthy little reminder. That's all looking good. That's all looking good, and this should hopefully... What's going on here? This is an arrival sensor. Do we have a rooting sensor? We got a rooting sensor here. Uh, you're going to... You're going to Liban. Cue that up as a as an arrival uh, as a as a as a thingy. That should be fine. We shouldn't have we shouldn't have an issue with this here. I mean, I'll manually sort of queue it up, but we shouldn't have an issue with that. It should it should work if you're going to live in one, which is exactly where you're going. That's looking good. Happy with that. There's, again, this is probably like the the epicenter of all of the stuff that is happening is over in uh, is over in Leiden, but that's okay. A lot of queues coming out from Ziskov. A lot of delays, presumably, going to be coming from there. Uh, but we'll deal with that in a little bit. How's this part of the map looking? Not looking too bad. Countdown timers are looking pretty healthy over here. Superb. That's looking good. That's looking good. That's looking good. Wilson Station. Uh, it's Lieben. Lieben is the problem. Lieben is the problem from which from which all other problems grow. Lieben six, and you were supposed to be there five minutes ago. Um, what is the route that you would that you would usually take? You would usually go down to here. Is it just the fact that there is a lot of congestion on this route? I think that could be part of the problem. Um, it definitely could be part of the problem. I mean, we are routing to. We can route directly to Lieben from this specific sensor here. Uh, and we will route to there. I don't know if that's specifically going to make a difference for the train as it stands right now. Let's get you to stop and reverse, and then we'll get you to try again. See if that see if that makes a difference. And you're off to Lieben as well. Goodness gracious me, is everybody in the entire freaking universe off to Lieben? Apparently so. You're stopped at signals, and you're... Waiting to be queued up. There we go. You're good to go. Away with you. Okay, I think we've at least cured a little bit of the backlog from this part of the world, which is good. I mean, think trains are still a little bit sort of behind schedule, but for the most part, it's it's fine. Uh, there is an opportunity, perhaps. To, there's an opportunity to get a tunnel here. Hey, there's an opportunity to get a tunnel here. It's probably not going to make a tremendous amount of difference, but... I actually want to really build infrastructure because as much as managing trains is fun, I like building trains too. Right, what do we got? We got a rooting sensor. This is a rooting sensor to Ziskov. Uh, I don't really want to interfere with that. Can we... Connection not possible. We can, we can, make, we can make this happen. We can make this happen. We can make this happen. Uh, I feel like it is going to be possible if I move this rooting sensor. Hold on. What I'll do is I'll copy the configuration... I will build a routing sensor. In fact, you know what? Just bulldoze, bulldoze it for now. Is it? Is it? It's in. It's in use at the moment, so I don't think we're allowed to remove it. What's it? What trains it? What trains it? Uh, what trains it routing? Okay. Well, whatever the case, we'll we'll wait until we'll wait until we we've done with that, and then we'll see if we can try and merge in an underground tunnel over here, and that should, in theory, speed up the transit time. Right, how's this looking? You need to go to Lieben 5. Lieben 5 is no doubt occupied. Yep, no doubt about that. That's fine. How's this all looking? You need to stop and reverse because you need to go down this way. And you are going to... You're going to Vise, Vise Kenny 2. Where the heck is that? That's all the way up here. So is that put into the, the router? I mean, it's all others are routed to this specific auto block over here, which is fine. Let's cut down. Let's cut down on that. If we cut down on that, that should allow that should allow us out. Don't know where. I don't know where the queue for this specific auto signal was coming from. It's not a big deal though. We can always we can always address that later on. This is queued up now as well. So hopefully, you know, touch wood, it should all it should all work as planned. Can I get this? Can I get this uh, this line plumbed in now? Let's have a little look-see, shall we? I really want to connect that up. I think we can, you know. I really, really do think we can. It's just... it's Everything is so... Everything is so compact here. Everything is so compact. Uh, actually, what if I bulldoze that? What if we start the tunnel slightly later? 
How about that? There we go. Uh, sure, we're using nice track here, but it doesn't particularly matter. Hey, hey, look at that. Okay, that is that is fantastic. So uh, now what we can do? Um, what's the issue? What's the issue with this here? Yeah, we can still root. Where do you go? You go down here. Yeah, we can still root you over there. That's fine. And then for Lieben, uh, I want to. I need to connect it up first, which I can't do yet because there's a train on it. Right, let's go to 25 times speed because I want to get that train out of the way. That's good. Let's connect up a little bit of. Connect that up there. Perfect. I've used a whole bunch of different types of track, but um, but that's fine. Uh, do I need to stick in? A signal here. I tell you what, a signal in there probably wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. And then let's see if we can try and let's see if we can try and set this up so that where is it? Rooting sensor. Yep. Lieben. Uh, let's do the track. Let's do this track. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if it. Let's see if it actually works. Hopefully, it should have a transformative impact. I'm not sure if it will, but I guess we'll I guess we'll see. Uh Lieben is looking a little bit better now. Lieben is looking a little bit better now. You should be you should have left Lieben. What's the what's the issue here? You're waiting for this train to move in there. That's fine. You're waiting for this area to be free and so that should be fine. If I'm not mistaken. I guess we'll I guess we'll see. Right. Turn off all of those notifications because everything as far as I'm concerned looks fine to me gonna wait for this train to get out of here that's fine and then we should move forward right what's the issue up here probably not an issue probably just an issue with the fact that there is trains transiting in front of it at the moment that looks particularly nasty but that's just waiting because we're waiting for Lieben platform one to be uh to be open okay then you're gonna come through then you're gonna come through after that Lieben platform three that is superb that's good. That's really, really good. I, it's a shame, actually, after building this tunnel and this sort of infrastructure setup, that I haven't actually had any calls to use it because there's no trains that have come from um, Zizkov all the way over to to Lieben. But I will say, I mean, everything is operating as it should be. You need to be at Lieben six. When were you due to depart Wilson Station at twenty two? Um, yeah, so you should have departed. But the issue again is this one over here, right? I'll manually remove that for now, and then we'll see if it ends up queuing. See if it ends up queuing anything in the future. Where are you going? You're going to Wilson Station. Uh, you're going to end. You can end. I've you've got you finished over here. You should be finishing at the Wilson Coachyard. Ah, I see. There's no actual route between the Coachyard and this specific. There's no route between the the specific area where you need to go. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem, actually. That is a bit of a problem. So, yeah, we can't get, uh, COM 4979 from number, route number 5, or tr track number 5, up to the coach yard. Uh, this will actually require a little bit of infrastructure improvement. Let's do 120 kilometer track. I mean, I'm not flush with money. Uh, the problem is... The problem is the existing infrastructure is very busy. If I build this, the train is not going to be able to go around that corner, quite frankly. That is a that is an aggressive it's an aggressive corner. We need to get it from here to here. I don't think I don't think the coach sheds can have two entrances. No. Uh although I mean even a tunnel even a tunnel in here is very, very, very freaking tight. Yeah, I don't... I don't think so. Although, you know what? Ye of little faith. Okay, we're... <laughs> it's gonna be... Uh, it's not gonna be the messiest... It's not gonna be the messiest track of all time. It's gonna be the worst track of all time. But I think we may we might be able to make it work. We might be able to make it work. Although it's going to be again it's going to be it's going to be a nasty little it's going to be a nasty little connection. I need to find somewhere that'll just it'll just work. Uh will that will it work from there? 
the problem is, is that regardless of the track type, the tunnels need to be flush, right? Can I take this back further? They need to be flush with the like entrance and exit. I mean, I don't, I don't think that's going to be allowed, right? No. God, this is this is a this is a real this is a real pain in the backside. I mean, can I root? Can I root it somewhere else? I mean, we could root it to. It's gonna come down this way. I mean, there's a way that we can root it round. Maybe I root it to like platform four, for example. Come out here. Sure. What about what about we root it down to platform four? Or alternatively, platform six. No, platform six doesn't do it. It's literally only platform four here. That is not a legal connection, unfortunately. It's just so many space constraints right now. You know what they say about constraints, though. They bring out they bring out the best in the in the artist. I don't claim to be an artist, but I I am I'm definitely working within some pretty tight constraints to make this to make this happen. Um, oh, flipping egg. This is this is this is a nasty this is a nasty nasty little place to 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 try and make this work. Hmm. Alternatively, we could always like send it back on this journey and maybe like say, I can't do that because that's a right angle, a right angle bend. Um, I should bulldoze, I should bulldoze that just so that we're not, just so that we're not making it look particularly messy. I think the solution, I think the solution lies over here actually with regards to making, with regards to making this work. What about coming down? I, you see, the other thing is that you don't want to you don't want to end up introducing like a, a, a route which is going to end up completely torpedoing, you know, what you're trying to do. What about what about something like this? You know, funnily enough, maybe maybe a little a little loop de loop around here, you know, just to sort of reset reset the vibes. Reset the vibes, puts it back into platform one. Putting it back into platform one, you know what? Actually, like not the worst idea in the world. Stick in a stick in a manual switch right about there. And we want to say uh routing. What is it? Routing finished to. Can we not root finish to the specific track over here? I mean, if we root rounds, we can definitely connect that up if we want to. Finished we can route to here and then that's fine. And then if we stick down a, da, 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 a routing sensor right about there, which only should specifically be used, specifically be used. We can, should specifically be used for finishing. Uh, oops, connect up the signal. Oops, 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 select the signal right over there. Is there a, is there a route here? Yeah, so we should be able to route to one. Perfect, and then one is able to root to finished. So let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. So you can go to here, and let's see. Let's see if that actually happens. Let's see if we've actually fixed it. A nice little, a nice little bit of infrastructure to help things along. How's this looking? You're you're trying to get to Lieben, but I think the, I think the delays are entirely due to the fact that we've got so many trains on this route. Yeah, a lot of trains, a lot of trains on the route. That's fine. Yeah, we can't get through platform one at the moment because, of course, it is busy as all heck. There we go. Let's let you through. Fantastic. You should be able to travel right through. And boom, you're into the coach yard. That is phenomenal. Okay, we did end up building a little loop-de-loop -loop there. That's fine. You know what? I'm actually somewhat surprised that we haven't had, um, like, a tremendous number of train crashes. It is definitely possible and very, very possible to do. Uh, and the fact that I haven't managed to achieve um any train crashes is somewhat like truly remarkable i guess i will say though i'm really really happy with how this is all how this is all turning out that little loop-de-loop -loop, i feel is uh, just a just a toot my own horn for a little bit that's a bit of a creative solution uh, i'm not really sure how many specific trains it's going to address although to be fair i mean we could use it to solve um we could use it to solve the situation with um uh, platform seven. If platform seven ends up uh, requiring 
uh, things to go to the coachyard, trains to go to the coachyard, that's fine too, but... I mean, it's it's a nice little it's a nice little way of handling the problem. Um, Lieben, Lieben, however, Lieben is is a Lieben is a big old problem. Where are you going? Um, down here. What's the issue with this here? You're trying to go to to there. What's what's the issue with you? You're trying to go to you're trying to go to Zizkov, and uh, unfortunately, Zizkov, uh, the Zizkov train is just taking a long time to get ready. Which is a bit of a which is a bit of a kicker, but you should be able to get in here now, and then that should free up the that should free up the train behind, right? All right, whatever. There we go. Okay, trains should be coming. They should all be sort of moving up now. I do indeed believe that that's the case. Yep, they are indeed. Uh, that's looking good. That is a rooting sensor there. That's a rooting sensor there. Do we have an arrival sensor? We do have an arrival sensor for... Yeah, we do have an arrival sensor here. It's auto-routing through this specific one. So yeah, that should have that should have worked, the, the number four. It'll definitely work now, which is great. Hey, look at that. We actually completed a contract. Well, you know what? I'm not too I'm not too displeased with how that how that ended up operating. And as I say, there's definitely some pretty significant um some a, a, an occasional delay. I mean, this doesn't look healthy. I'm no sort of train expert, but it doesn't look healthy there. Um, but if we trace the problems back, they all lead back to Lieben. Um, they all lead back to Lieben. However, ladies and gents, we're going to have to wrap this up right about now. Uh, Railroad is excellent. I would really, adv I would really recommend uh, checking it out. It's very, very good. It plays very, very well. It is a pure automation game in every sense of the word. It feels great to play. It looks great. It's very, very unique. Uh, and I'd really recommend checking it out. Thank you ever so much to the developers for sponsoring this video. Uh, but for now, and for me, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>